Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross update video. It is time for the month of March. So if you guys have just watched um, Air Macross 7, uh, just like I did, you guys know how much hype there is at the end of the event. Oh my goodness. So if you guys have not caught it, I apologize. Well, there is no way to catch it again. Uh, you know, because, well, uh, Big West, Dana, has removed the um, live stream um, premiere um, as usual because of music copyright content and all that stuff. Um, but I'm here to talk about you know what was shown at the end of the Air Macross Seven um, live stream. So if you have not seen you know the website of the official Uta Macross wiki page, um, you probably have no idea what. I don't know, boiling in my blood right now with all the passion and the culture. <laughs> Alright, so first thing first, I'm gonna let the clip roll here. We're gonna have Reyna show us a few of her hack info. And as, as you can tell straight away, um, yeah, there is a lot of content being shown, uh, especially with, you know, the upcoming first event of the month, which is featuring the Frontier Ladies once again. Yes! At the end of the entire Air Macross 7, we got a sneak special appearance of uh, Cheryl and Ranka in their school uniform outfit, uh, performing Lion as a duet. So yes, Lion is finally getting its the duet mode. Um, of course, Ranka and Cheryl, you know, considering um, they are the first event of the month, uh, we are getting two Seven star episode plate gachas once again at the start of March. Oh, my poor wallet. I can't handle this much pain and love. Oh, God. Okay, so there goes my money for the month of March for my waifu. Yes, you guys probably know by now. Ranka is my waifu. And of course, for Cheryl fans out there, I cry for you as well. Because, to be honest, this is like the um, first seven star episode plates where both of them tie in together to do a live performance. Uh, usually the 7 star episode plates feature two different divas and their costumes don't correlate at all. So this is the first ever 7 star episode plate gacha that really really uh, features them together and have to be gotten together so they are really trying to suck our money dry. Uh, especially for those who upload um, Uta Macross edits, um, you know, onto YouTube, Facebook, wherever platform that you usually post onto. So yeah, and of course, uh, the rest of the costumes are pretty sweet as well. Uh, Kaname is getting a new costume, Minmei is getting some love as well. Uh, and yes, if you guys have not seen the information, uh, Air Macross Walkure <laughs> is up next. So in my last Uta Macross video, uh, I speculated, you know, like what, what kind of release the next Air Macross uh, is going to be. I thought it was going to be SDF Macross, but there was a speculation from on my end as well that it could have been Walkrain because maybe they are leaving Min Mei for the best of the last uh, with a special surprise of some sort. So yeah, so it seems like Min Mei is still getting some constant love uh, during the month of February and March. Um, although, you know, she hasn't really gotten a featured song so far. So, but it seems like um, April is going to be Min May's month um, if things are going according to plan. No, wait, it's not April, it's uh... May. <laughs> I'm counting the months in my head. <laughs> I'm still having problems remembering the months in the year. So it takes some time, you know, uh, to calculate which month is next. But yeah, uh, it seems like May might be Min May's month. <laughs> I guess uh, Dana is playing some puns here. Uh, I appreciate the, the punniness, but you know, uh, I guess Min Mei fans are starting to get a bit annoyed, you know, considering their waifu has been left out of the love for some time. But you know, she does get costume love now and then, so that's not too bad. It's, it's just that maybe her songs aren't popping up as often as they want to. So yeah, Min Mei needs more love. Uh, yeah, so everyone has to remember love. Yes, yes, the famous iconic line in all Macross series. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's get back to the 
uh, Uta may cross wiki page and let's scroll down. So we're gonna go through all the information here. So yes, Macross and Macross 7 has just concluded with lots of special performances at the end. Um, we get a full costume look at Valkyrie wearing all their wonderful costumes from uh, Macross Crossover Live, uh, second key art as well. So all five ladies are wearing their costumes. Um, and of course, we get Ranka and Cheryl, like I said, who performed Lion as a duet in their brand new Seven Star School Uniform costume. So let's scroll down to the image of their Seven Star episode plates. Oh my god, look at that. Oh god, I cannot. My wallet is crying so hard right now. <sighs> Once again, we are getting this uh, kind of illustration style. Uh, this is not the first time, in fact, the first time we've gotten, you know, a mirrored style image illustration for episode plate has been Shudi Star. So if you guys remember that episode plate or those episode plates, you should definitely be familiar with Shudi Star's life sequence, where both Ranka and Cheryl do end up in each other's life sequences depending on who you use as your main diva. So yeah, so two seven star episode plates, oh my goodness. What do you guys think of this? Is Dana really out to grab your money? I'm sure they are. I mean, after all, it's a mobile game. So, um, you know, it's just common um, for gacha games to try and leech out as much cash as you've got um, in the month. And yes, also featured in Reina's hacking information, Basara is getting a new costume. Kaname is getting a very sweet looking costume along with Maki Maki and Min Mei. So it seems like school uniform is the next theme here. Um, so yeah, Basara is getting a high school uniform style, uh, you know, with that red bandana tied to this the side. Maybe he's like some kind of, um, I guess, class rep or something like that. Makina is definitely looking like an honor student. Maki Maki is also looking a bit like an honor student. Uh, Min Mei is definitely looking like a very good college girl. Uh, I guess, I don't know whether colleges wear uniforms, you know, but some countries do. Ah, uh, who knows. Anyways, um, repeated, you know, events are a usual thing for the second event of the month. Um, then of course, we do have score and damage improvement step up gacha is coming our way. Uh, of course, if you have the extra singing stone after, you know, bleeding for the seven star episode plates that are coming out in the month of March, <laughs> you could maybe toss in some of your singing stones to the score up and damage improvement step up gacha. That is if you need the episode plate. If not, you know, there is the Nyan Nyan step up gacha that's featuring Kaname and Freya. You know, if you guys are Freya and Kaname stands, I guess this. Um, step up gacha is for you if you're trying to attain some of the older episode plates that you've missed out on But other than that, I would highly recommend you to stay away from these gachas as usual if you, Especially for those who are free to play um, You know, of course, if you guys are whalers out there, don't let me stop you It's just my recommendation if you really want to save some cash or, you know, to play smart Alright, so let's move on to the information here As you guys can tell from the banner I've already uploaded on my Facebook page Yes, the next air Macross belongs to Valkyrie. So in my last video, I did speculate that, you know, Min Mei might get uh, featured as the last uh, diva or rather the last series. Um, you know, considering that Valkyrie is one of their bigger money earners as well as Frontier. So apparently, March events line up um, kind of prove me right and wrong at the same time. So like I said in my last video, um, Valkyrie and Frontier are the top two diva um, team. Uh, I wouldn't call Cheryl and Ranka a team, but you know they have performed together, so they are not exactly a unit. But Valkyrie is a unit, so Valkyrie and Frontier ladies are both the biggest money earners in terms of the Macross franchise diva section. We are not talking about a max. The max is definitely not belonging to. Um, Macross Delta and Macross Frontier. In fact, the, 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 the ones that are winning on the Max series are actually Macross Plus, uh, SDF Macross, and, uh, and of course, you've got a bit of Macross 7 inside there. A bit, a bit. <laughs> uh, Delta is okay. I mean, considering that the, the, the Chaos team do pilot some slick new designs for, by Kawamori, um, Frontier has its love as well, especially with... Uh, 
einen um, you know, um, Ranka's brother's arm pack, I guess, and maybe a bit from um, <laughs> the other characters who are also pilots in the show. But you know, not as much love as SDF Macross and Macross Plus. We all know that Macross Plus and SDF Macross dominate in terms of Mac love. Um, you know, and of course, when it comes to the Divas, which Futa Macross is mainly featuring, mainly featuring, and we do have Valkyries inside the game, but you know, not enough love right there. But uh, yeah, so like I said, um, Valkyrie and Frontier Ladies dominate in terms of the money making terms of Diva love. So yeah, a bit of the information here, we will just go through a bit. So they talk about the Macross, Frontier, Cheryl and Ranka's uh, lion performance and of course featuring new costumes as a unit. Um, apparently, it is a thing now. So Ranka and Cheryl are considered a unit even though they are individual divas on their own. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Um, so yeah, they of course you know you can check out you know further performances on their official YouTube channel for the Macross channel. Um, yeah, blah 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 blah. So apparently there's some missions that's gonna happen on the third of March. All right, so that's one of the things that's to look out for. Um, then of course we are talking about the next Air Macross. All right, so it belongs to Valkyrie, but this is the real important part of the information here. So if you guys are like me, who have been following all the M across uh, performances, because you guys are not like me, uh, die-hard Macross idol fans, and of course people who are just uh, dying to find out what's the latest thing for Uta Macross. Sadly to say, because Air Macross Valkyrie is performing on the 20th of March. If you look at the date on your calendar, 20th of March is actually not the last weekend of the month. Usually, Dana releases information for the next month Uta Macross updates on the last weekend of the month. So therefore, they have announced that the information of the next Air Macross Day 4, as you can see Valkyrie is Day 3 here on the banner, all right? will be on the 28th of March instead of, you know, the performance of Air Valkyrie. So that's kind of a disappointment, um, especially for those of us who have um, been following all the Air Macross streams so far on the official Macross YouTube channel. So that's one of the things you probably want to bookmark in your calendar if you want to keep up to date with all the all things Uta Macross. Um, so yeah. So, month of March event lineup. So, the first one definitely belongs to Macross Frontier with the school uniform performance or the Gakuen Matsuri Live. Uh, basically, the, the school Matsuri or school festival um, live performance, um, of course, belonging to both Cheryl and Ranka, uh, happening on the 28th of February. So, basically, it's tomorrow. <laughs> Today is the 27th of February 2021 that I'm recording this video right after Air Macross 7 and also if you guys are Pokemon fans, happy Pokemon Day! <laughs> yes, today is Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Um, so yeah, if you guys have not, um, you know, checked out all the information I left on the YouTube page, I mean, YouTube Facebook page uh, regarding all the brand new game information for Pokemon franchise as well. Yes, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm also a Pokemon nut. So if you guys are big Pokemon fans and you're Macross fans at the same time, thank you guys so much for following me on my YouTube channel and my Facebook page um, where we share the love of all the all things Japanese pop culture. <laughs> not, in, not just anime stuff, we have other things as well. Uh, you know, if you guys are like Seiyuu um, followers or maybe like Japanese culture, sometimes I will do something cultural as well, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Next event is the repeat event, so Koi Halation The Dance. Uh, we all know what song it belongs to, it does not say the dance, it's the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that that event will definitely feature um, probably Kaname. Probably Ka no wait, it, should, it says here that these costumes belong to um, the, the raid event, so I think most likely Kaname is going to be for the repeat event of the month which belongs to Koi Halish in the War. Then Basara is probably going to end up as a gacha costume for the raid event. 
So probably the raid event is going to feature a uh, um, Macross 7 song. Um, so yeah, that's probably one thing to look, about, look out for, so apparently. So um, then, of course, um, Memorial Day is a, a Watashi no Karewa pilot to death, so my, my boyfriend is a pilot. So apparently the last event of the month, which is the um, Diva Improvement event, belongs to Min Mei. So that's that's pretty nice, considering that Min Mei hasn't get, been getting enough love. So yeah, so um, the Diva Improvement event is really going to feature Min Mei. Um, likely to be a... I don't know. It, I don't know which version of the song it's going to be because... Uh, my boyfriend is a pilot has like gotten a different different few renditions on Utame Cross already. Uh, it could be a blue version, it could be a yellow version. So let's see how it goes. Um, but the song is definitely um, pretty mediocre in terms of difficulty. So if you can clear the extreme version for that song, I think you should be fine, especially for Diva Improvement. Um, so yeah, you've got to grind, grind. It's, it's no longer a lazy month. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I always appreciate Dana having the, the high score versus event at the end of the month uh, rotated with the Diva Improvement event because the Diva Improvement event is a real grind. You know, just when I thought we had enough grinding with the first event of the month, which is the ticketing event. Ah, God, you know, Dana needs to put less stress on us. <laughs> all right so that's pretty much it for all the information that is currently available um for the month of march i mean there's definitely a few more info that you know dana has probably um set up aside you know for us to find out as the month progresses you know just to keep things fresh you know they can't release everything in one go if not everybody is just like oh i knew it's coming you know but they have to surprise us keep us interested in the game <laughs> anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me on another Utah Macross update video what do you guys think of all the information and what do you guys think of uh, the surprise appearances in Air Macross 7 if you guys actually watched it you know let me know your thoughts about everything in the comment section down below and of course leave a like to this video if you appreciate the content and all the updates that you probably might have missed out if you were not able to watch Air Macross Frontier. Um, sadly to say, due to copyright reasons, I could not show any of the performance portions of Air Macross 7. Um, but, you know, I get to at least show you um, the Rayma hack info, <laughs> which might get me into some copyright issues, you know, but uh, luckily enough, those kind of matters are still... Um, you know, discussable with the people who probably copyright strike me because the info that I share isn't exactly info that is, you know, copyright strikeable. <laughs> so, because the last February event update video did uh, encounter such a thing and luckily enough, I got the copyright strike removed for that video. So, whew! Anyway, guys, if you appreciate all the effort, yes, please, please, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet or are new to the channel. And of course, ring the bell notification icon for more info just like this in the next month. Or, you know, or maybe just want to see what other nonsense that I'll pull out from my horrible gacha pools. And until then, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!